How's it going, you fuck faces? You're all pal Michael Myers, and today I'll be reacting to the Lost Super Mario 64 Screamer. Alright, let's hit this shit. What? What's that? There's a ah, power down. They need to know about it. This is a super fucking long end. Nobody cares about the, about the new 100 games. Movie. Who, who you? Oh my god, now I see boobies. Fuck it, get this. This video's lost. You have to see it at some point. And I'll play your first pair of videos that you have to see. Hey, wait, did that movie the last video? Yes, three of them. Some person playing the Mario 64 did. The video will still be intentionally after being annoyed by its success. Since its deletion, the video has never been released, and the exact details are not going to come up here. Oh, definitely very intriguing. What the fuck is this? There's a, I see a black person right there. I was done being crazy. I needed to find this video. I was willing to do anything to prove it. Anything. Ah, fuck you. No matter how long you've been on the internet, there's a chance you've heard of a good old video game mystery. Whether it's a theory about something found in the game, or just a fake story surrounding it. Oh my god, here, Brian. Both of these games would love to discuss the mystery. As it was not only super interesting to uncover potential secrets at the games they love playing, but it was just fun to talk about these theories with others and see what they thought of the mystery. One of the most iconic gaming mysteries of all time is the Luigi and Super Mario 64 theory, also known as the L is Real 2401 mystery. Many speculate that the text on the fountain in the castle's courtyard read L is Real 2401, which meant that Luigi was real and could be playable in the game. It wouldn't be until over 24 years later when it was revealed that Luigi was indeed in the game's file, but wasn't an unlockable character. Nonetheless, the mystery was finally solved. But back in the day, there were many people talking about this topic, and there would be one YouTube video which would not only take the Super Mario 64 community by storm, but the entire internet. An old video called Super Mario 64 oh, Mario Super 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 Secret. Big. I was way back in 2007. Oh, what? Oh, okay. 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 The video was wiped from the platform, and since then, oh, that's this fun, video fun. has been lost to time. Uh, With there being no re-uploads and only a what? handful of evidence suggesting that the video did indeed exist. So, how did this infamous screamer video that scared hundreds of thousands around the world suddenly become a lost media? I don't know. Has this video been found after years of searching? Let's dive into this mystery and truly find out what happened. This is the story of Super Mario 64 Big Star Secret, aka the Lost Super Mario 64 Screamer. Our story begins on August 15, 2007. August 15, 2007. The YouTube user named Lotus Man 17 would upload a video to his channel job. titled Super Mario 64 Big Star Secret. Did you hear that? The video was a little over five minutes and was a big tutorial on how to own a Luigi in Super Mario 64. The video was edited in Windows Movie Maker and showed several different text prompts which would instruct you on what to do in order to unlock Luigi. The video was super low quality with the Super Mario 64 gameplay on the computer screen being recorded with an old flip phone. Some more details that are important to mention are that Mario's clothes were a completely different color. Rather than the classic red and blue, which he's known for wearing, his clothes were blue and black. And not only were Mario's textures changed, but the castle's brick textures were also changed to black. There was even an extra door added in the castle, which apparently caused the textures to glitch out during the video. There were also two music tracks that supposedly played throughout the video, which were Whispers in the Dark by Skillet and those chosen by the planet from Final Fantasy VII. However, at one point, the video's music was actually changed due to copyright, and the audio was changed to either Dreamscape by 009 Sound System or Database by Alexander Pearls, who is actually the creator behind 009 Sound System. No one knows for sure which one it was, though. 
The video itself starts outside of the castle before Mario runs into it. The rest of the video takes place in the castle's courtyard, with the exception of the one part where the texture oh God, is made in the formal up. alternate dimension. Some of the steps that were likely in the video were just that you had to kick a boo in the courtyard instead of where you had to run around the building around the star statue so the amount of time to The rest of the detail about the steps are unknown though. This would go on for a few before more minutes before one all last bit of text right. pops up saying something along the lines the wall, of The walls then plus- I can't put the name! That's fucking- And then the video immediately cuts the iconic jump scare Oh fuck! However, what is actually edited in the video of the zombie will let you see Oh my god! After the okay, jump scare, the video would end with some rolling credits on a black screen. With many believing the ending text said something along the lines of, quote, trolled at a well. This video oh, would be wow. up on YouTube for years, with many oh, wow. in the video due to them just not finding the prank very funny, so and the reason why the hate would get secret. so big that Lotus would First actually just leave the, the comments on the video and add an annotation to the video which said that he would eventually yeah. delete the video due to the amount of hate that he was getting. And what do you know? In late 2012, Lotus would delete the Big Star Secret the video from his channel. Sorry about and just that. like that, the video was gone. I know. I know. The video was gone. That's fucked up. The video was mostly forgotten about shortly after its deletion, with no one mentioning it for years, until September 8, 2015, when a user named SEL on the Screamer forum the would come to the I don't know what to think. How to get the Ouija oh, on Super Mario 64 Screamer. Screamer. There are many videos showing this that are actually quote-unquote fake, but I remember how being how hacked by one that ended with the candies on the Screamer. I try to find it lately, but I can't. Anyone remember seeing that? Another witness oh. says, I remember watching the video too, although it was about getting the Eternal Star in Mario 64, not getting the Ouija in Mario 64, which was another urban legend. I looked everywhere for this video and even checked the playback machine and I couldn't find it, so we could assume that the video was deleted. What I remember from the video, which proves pretty much that it was deleted, was that when I watched it, the comments were disabled and an annotation popped up when the video was starting, which said something like, I'm taking down the video because he was getting hate for it, and realized that it was just a troll move, so I'm guessing a little bit after I watched it, he took it down. P.S. I kind of found the video when I was really searching this one time on YouTube. Well, it's not really the video, but a reaction to it, and it's really hard, the video itself to... Why is this what? video itself too? And it's not of the whole video, just the end part with the screamer. Here's the link. However, nowadays when you click on this link, the video is actually private in, and it's no, not no, 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 no. a machine either, which is a real shame. However, the title has been archived and it's revealed to be called yeah. Streamer Frank Fail. Other than that, I the rest this. of the thread is just others trying to figure out the actual video title, which was eventually found to be called Super Mario 64 Super Big Mario. Star Secret, Super thanks Mario. to an actual Super Mario 64 Big Star Secret. Right. We, we, right. we heard of it! We heard of it four times! Later. However, even with all this knowledge about the video being out there on the internet, there were still many people who this, this exact Fuck video you. who had no idea about any of this information at all or this thread existence. Throughout 2015 2020, several new threads would pop up everywhere, which would talk about the Big Star Secret video. When I was a really little kid, I was on YouTube looking at videos about the game Mario 64. There was a section of the game where you go into the castle courtyard and there's a statue that has text on it that says L is real or something. My younger self was watching conspiracy videos about it, and I remember one where it was a tutorial saying things like go here, jump and kick this very wall, then run over here and kill this boo. At the end of the video, there was a screamer. It was a zombie looking thing that was violently convulsing. I'm super curious and really want to find this video again. Can anyone help me? We uh, have this shared video no. this one Mario 64 video. Me and on my class need to somehow find the whole Mario 64 video. The thumbnail is real, the Mario 64 video. Video. But there was a peaceful video. The thumbnail is probably a Mario 64 screenshot of the courtyard built to three. Four. So it's all about the three years ago, holy crap. The L is real mystery. No. With the video blacking out to show text from Windows Movie Maker and stuff, it's shown a quote unquote method on how to love oh. Ouija, and Mario eventually has to kick boo. Then he walks over to the courtyard. The screen blinks out, and that said, quote, and then. And then it quickly cuts the peaceful car ride right, screamer with the convulsing zombie. We know it's not just us, because we found a 4chan thread where people remember the same or similar videos, and yet no one can find them. It's like they disappeared off the face of the earth. If anyone has any information on this, it would be greatly appreciated. 
I remember seeing it as a little kid a long time ago, somewhere between 2006 and 2010. It was about the secret of the Storch statue in the castle in the backyard. It was showing instructions like, move on the line, and you walk backwards or something. Yeah. When finally it resulted in the streamer mandate. There were so many people who remembered this video, but yet no one knew what our right. happened to it or what the original video was even called. This would all change, however, when a user named Mabel would upload a video to YouTube titled The Hunt for a Jump Scare Prologue. This video would act as a mini documentary about Mabel recounting his experience with the video, along with trying to get more information about it. And this video actually managed to provide tons of leads, such as when the video was uploaded, what the video was exactly about, what the video looked like, and even the exact way the jump scare was edited. This video would truly be what would help ignite interest in this search. And shortly after this video came out, the official first on the hunt channel and the lost media wiki Discord server would be created. A user named Dykate who found a lot of video would be a little video at the first message and then other parts of the missing his video down. There would even be a little flyer made which listed all the details about the video, I just... all of the recreation of what was thought to be what the video looked like based on the information they had at the time. And then only two days later, this happened. What is it? Oh fuck, oh fuck, oh fuck. They had managed to stumble upon an archive page which had the video right there in the recommended section. The thumbnail, the title, the uploader, the view count, it was all right there. Everyone freaked out. Some quickly scrambled to try and find a way to contact Lotus in order to see if he still have the video or not. It even got to the point where someone contacted him on his PSN account just out of nowhere. Right. But then they finally stumbled upon the single okay, archive okay. page of the video still being up from 2008, which I mentioned earlier. August 15, 2007. The page actually reveals a lot of information about the video. Sadly, of course, the actual video isn't able to be viewed, but there are still tons of other content on this page to explore. First of all, the elephant in the room, the title of the video, which I already mentioned. Super you can also see the no, description of the right right which reads, quote, title says it all, along with the date the video was uploaded and the uploader's name. At the time, the video only had 40,000 views rather than the hundreds of thousands it get later on, and it had a two-star rate, right. which indicated that this was not a well-received video at all. You can also actually view some old comments on the video, which were ones who actually found the video quite funny and amusing. LOL, very nice. Didn't yeah, scare me because I love scary things. Yeah. LOL, I got suspicious when he went near the last wall and lowered the volume. Me too, but it was funny. And one more important thing that I think is 100% worth mentioning is the damn just the book of the comments that said video responses. So back in the old days of YouTube, I don't you know, it's really like as a response to another video, I and so you the video as a video response, and it would appear just under the original video. In this specific video responses tab, there is only one video, and that video turned out to be a different reaction video to the original. They checked to see if this video was still up, and guess what? It was. Travis Kelsey. Wow. You're Brian Halsey. That's fucked up. I worship you, man. It's I was scared to... I was... No, fuck you. There we go. Man 17. Or the 
that kid had managed to get in contact with Lotus, in a more professional manner, of course. However, Lotus had sadly told them that he likely didn't have the video anymore. But the good news was that there was a chance that Lotus would actually join the Lost Media Wiki Discord server and answer some questions about the video. And as soon as everyone heard of this news, Vlog would be on it instantly and give a rough draft for some potential questions to ask Lotus, which was, of course, if he joined. And well, guess what? He actually would join the server. This was massive. The original uploader of a video that everyone had been searching for for a while was about to answer some of the biggest questions about the video. While it was obviously sad that Lotus didn't have the video anymore, that oh, didn't mean that we couldn't at least get some more details about no, it. Okay. So, Lotus would start spilling the beans. Alright, so what was he doing, Lotus? Me to light beam in there, but I think he was whispers in the dark from Skillet because I did get a strike from that music company. Oh, that sucks. Planet was in there. So, like, I edited the textures in the level editor and also moved some doors around, and it kind of just happened. Like, when I went through the first door, glitched out all the textures I put in with other stuff. I am sure that it was XP for the operating system. The video was deleted, sadly, due to an accident on my behalf, if I remember. Hey, man, all, all these calls are from September of 2020. It's from three years. I can't remember it's from three years ago. Audio, but I could try to look it up, because it's one of those YouTube recommends it for audio swaps when they screw you over. Try this free audio. I did use Movie Maker. Maybe 009 Sound System Dreamscape? Yeah, that's the song. So, the blue tint was probably from the screen or the phone. The title, as I recall, was Super Mario 64 Big Star Secret, and I may have extended the audio on the screen. It was shot on one of those first Motorola and Razor flip phones, and I believe I used graphics for all the in-game stuff, edited textures, and moved some door with Hope's Tool 64, and the rest was all glitching, helping me out. But glitches brought about for me moving stuff around. And that was all the information that Lotus had provided so far. We had managed to get so much new information from this that would help us truly get a better imagining of the video. The fact that Lotus was willing to hop on the Discord just to answer some questions about a silly video he deleted years ago was incredible, and it truly showed how Lost Media can bring so many people together. It was a literal miracle that Lotus was A, still active online, and B, willing to provide us with all the information about the video that he had remembered. And this entire experience just motivated yeah. us to continue searching. There is a yes. chance the video was still online somewhere. Oh my God. There was also a theory that maybe YouTube still had the video somewhere. No, YouTube doesn't have the video, they no. They get reinstated by asking on Twitter. And there have had been cases where deleted videos have been reinstated by YouTube. Both how old the video was and how long ago it was deleted, YouTube responded by saying they were unfortunately unable to restore the video. Lotus would also pop back in every now and then, either to just chat or to answer some more minor questions. Random question about that music, as funny enough, it's the part that interests me the most and what I remember the most vividly about the video. Was the Final Fantasy VII song in the credits or part of the main video? I seen or heard of the main in video. The main video. Oh, it's right now, the main video. Oh, right the <laughs> I do believe it was in the main video. The idea behind that I'll was this is now gone. Interesting to hear the audio swaps on the dreamscape. I don't Uber know. Three thousand. I feel like I would have remembered it, being it was so used. I'm pretty sure that's the one I used because Call that company actually reached out top. to me and offered to pay me. If anyone has Toast Tool 64, I remember I put in a door in that wall, and when I went through that door is when the texture started glitching out. Yeah, it's just me running into the castle. I used the door I put in the right side of the main stairs, and I clipped Mario into the lower stairwell. I run up to the boo hallway, and I'm pretty sure it's when the textures flicker around a bit. Exit to courtyard. Before riding around the fountain a few times. Stopping at the two sides going in between, and keep jumps here. Um, I used a bit of the black slides with white text. I mean the title slide, and the slides for each of the steps, and the credits. Others had also managed to find some very interesting information. They had managed to stumble upon a form called Music Highlight, which was a form that was about downloading videos. And apparently, according to the statistics and data from the old Internet Archive page of the video, the video was actually shared on this forum at one point. Unfortunately, this thread seems to have been deleted since then, and another has taken its place. Well, that's Meaning that this is also sucks. another dead end, as there is also yeah, no more of the stuff. specific page where the video Making was Making a lost video. However, yeah. they were able to figure out approximately when the video was actually deleted, thanks to some old comments on Lotus's Don't decision by the channel, so get a line. recent comments coming from 2012. Thank and you. shortly after this, one would also actually find a Facebook page about the video with the thumbnail, title, and most importantly, an updated description of the video from 2011, just one year before its deletion. 
This video was done out of complete boredom, and yet people still wish to leave hateful comments. Therefore, commenting has been disabled. This combined with the annotation, which was also brought up, suggested that possibly the most video by the Hey, that's my age. 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 There was also a comment on this Facebook page that suggested the audio swap song might not have been Dreamscape by 009 sound system, as many had believed, but databased by Alexander Pearls instead. Translate roughly to English, it says, no, it had a song called Database by Alexander Pearls, and it said something about, you have to go to the other dimension. I've also been looking for that video for years. Lotus would have gone to provide some more information about the audio swap that happened. Someone emailed me and I thought it was fake, so ignored it, but they kept at it, so I responded, and it came with a little contract, which was simple, oh, but the result I picked had to be the only oh, song on air, oh, okay, and I had to read their own the video enough. This video, this video is 26 minutes. This was very interesting to, information. It please. definitely helped a bit, but sadly, not much would come out of the search. Okay, now you have to fund that block. Everyone started like. feeling giving up. They had searched YouTube, found nothing. They had searched the internet archive, found nothing. They were starting to feel like this video was just never going to be found. Some were still optimistic, though. With the video being downloaded and uploaded to that one forum, suggesting that some still have to be on their hard drive, some were hopeful that someone would just randomly upload the video at one point, while others still didn't have much hope about this video being found. The channel's activity was slowing down. No new discoveries were being made by this point. There was still some hope, though, as Dykate had tried contacting people from the Internet Archive who worked on YouTube troll pages, which were basically Are called data from tunnel on YouTube. So if the video was in this crawl data, the video would have a way better chance of being found. This was basically their last resort. If this was another dead end, this would likely become a cold case. By the end of September, Daiki had finally gotten a response from the Internet Archive, but it was a very vague response. This obviously wasn't very helpful, like, at all. Daiki would try to get a better response, and would even share the video URL with them. And then, Daiki would get the worst news possible. What? What is it? Yeah. This isn't the news I wanted to deliver for our first time, but the internet archive doesn't have it. And unless you guys have any other ideas, I think we've just about done all we can on our end, until someone who let the video notices we're looking for it. The search had officially hit a dead end. Everyone had tried everything they could. They had used all their leads, but the video was not found. Others would find the old Screamer Wiki forum from 2015 along with the private reaction video, but with the private reaction not being available to watch on the internet archive, this didn't really help too much. And on October 21st, 2020, Daike had officially closed the channel for the hunt. It was declared a cold case. Sadly, after all those days of constant searching and reaching out to so many possible leads, the video was not found. They had come so close several times, but no one seemed to have it. But I think this experience in the Lost Media Wiki Discord for sure at least gave others a fun time. So many funny, interesting moments so came from it, starting right with there. one simple video by Madhole, which resulted in Lotus coming into the server and answering questions that people had about the video, along with just having fun with everyone else in the server. It's a great example of how Lost Media can truly bring people together. And it isn't just about finding the media okay. itself, it's also about the experience in finding the media. The search, that's one of the most magical parts about it. All these people coming together just to hunt down one piece of media for preservation purposes is why so many pieces of media have been found over the years. Without this community, Dora. so many pieces Fuck of you, Dora. media would still remain lost to this day, and I'm really grateful that it exists. Even if not all pieces of lost media are able to be found, the search can still be a truly wonderful experience. And Mavel himself would say this in his second video about the topic, being uploaded in March of 2021, which acted as a conclusion to his mini-series. And that is sadly where the search currently stands. After the Lost Media Wiki Discord had declared the search a cold case, nothing new has been found since. There have been some supposed images and videos floating around, but these have all been confirmed to be fake. There have also been many recreations of the original video made, which give us an idea of what the video likely looked like. But with all this, you're probably like, well, yeah, I know this video is never getting found. 
Yeah, it's never gonna get back, folks. It's never gonna get back. Never. Some random person will come forward and just have their video on them without knowing how many people want this video. Would the video be as popular as it was back in the day? I have no doubt that at least someone still has it. Even if the person who uploaded it to that forum doesn't have it anymore, I bet someone else does. And if any of you watching this video have any information uh, yeah. on this video, or even actually do have the video, I don't have it. Just let me know. Dumbass. I don't have the video. It's extremely important in getting this video found. And even though I wasn't it's a witness on the original, found. this is my most wanted piece of lost video right now. I was a huge fan of Super Mario 64 content back in the day, and yeah, I loved watching some old YouTube content. Does As it reminds me of simpler times. Holy! What? <laughs> Fucking skip this shit! No, fuck you, Burger King. This is still one of the greatest videos on the platform, by the way. So getting this okay. video found would not only help others relive their childhood trauma, oh but it would be great if you like this video as crazy as it is now. If you guys want, I've linked a server in the description, which is fully dedicated to trying to find this video. Out. If you want to join the search, feel free. I myself have been talking in the server a lot recently, and it's tons of fun and has got really nice people there. So don't be afraid to join if you want to. We would love to have you on the search. Yeah, pretty fucked up when she was thinking about this shit. Damn, what the fuck? going to be it for this video. This is for sure a different video from what I normally make, but I had a really fun time with it. You guys showed so much support on the community post asking if you would all be yep. interested in this, which is greatly appreciated. And if this video does well enough, maybe I'll do more lost media videos in the future. Yep, I'll I'll you, I hope you did. Cover any other topics in the future. And if you're new here, feel yeah, free to like and subscribe. Yeah, I'm new here for a while, though. I'm about to subscribers, and I'm about to be 5,000 away, so any subscription is greatly appreciated. But yeah, I hope to see this video get found someday. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Yep. Peace. Yep, peace. This is a hard thing. Take, take, gamer. Alright, so that video is gonna be a link to your channel below. Make sure make sure this uh, make sure to uh, subscribe, like, and make sure Pig Pig Gamer needs to hit a hundred needs to hit a hundred thousand subscribers. Just please do it. I just put the channel I just put this down in the description down below too. Make sure to make sure to subscribe to Pig Pig Gamer. And Pig Pig Gamer, you watch this video right now. Thank you. And I just and I kinda like knocking your videos. So I'm patient by me. So yeah. Thanks for watching this video. Peace out and goodbye.